Hey everybody, alright so it's time to talk about Doctor Strange, the latest entry into the MCU and possibly the most spectacular. Um, yeah, the trailers for this, I've got to say, you know, looked stunning. So going into this one, was I was very excited, so got to see it yesterday and... My God, I was not disappointed. This film was absolutely fantastic. It really was. Like I say, it's a character I knew nothing about. So going into this, everything to me was just completely new. Didn't know anything about, you know... Because, yes, we are introduced to the character of Stephen Strange, but then we've got this whole new world, this whole new dimension of the MCU... Uh, that were introduced to, you know, sorcerers. We've never seen anything like this before in the MCU. And the way they explain, you know, how sorcery and magic works within this universe, it's very, very well done. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, that's one thing I'll say straight off the bat, you know, if you're not familiar with the source material... Uh, some things might be a bit, like there's a lot to take in yeah there's a lot to process so I think this is going to be one of those films that benefits from repeat viewings you know like the more you watch it the more you'll appreciate it and enjoy it you know it's I think it's one of those films that you're going to need to watch more than once before you appreciate it fully um but yeah the way they go about explaining the whole thing, really, really well done. And, you know, in such a condensed p p uh, way as well. Because, like I say, this film is just short of two hours. As people have been saying, one of the shortest Marvel films. Um, but, yeah, and that's another good point. Like I say, it has a good pace to it. You know, this passes really quick. Really has a good pace to it. But yeah, so story is Stephen Strange, he's this real high profile surgeon, one of the top surgeons. Then of course he's involved in this major car accident. The the car accident sequence is very, very well done. You know it's it's handled really well and it's very hard hitting as well. But yeah. So you've got so he's involved in this huge car accident. Um, his body's wrecked, uh, but worst of all are his hands. His hands have been re really, really messed up in this uh, this accident, and you know they heal to a point, but he's looking and you know. He'll never be able to operate again. And like I say, he's trying to explore all these different avenues, you know, trying these possible treatments, you know, these possible surgeries he could undergo to, to fix his hands and get back to where he needs to be. Unfortunately, he has no such luck, you know, he's trying, you know, he's getting in touch with all his contacts, you know, um but they keep saying there's nothing we can do and of course you know he goes off the deep end really you know he sinks to a real falls off the edge of the planet pretty much um of course uh rachel mcadams is in this movie she's basically like his love interest in them so she's trying to stand by him and support him but like i say she's getting nothing back from him um, so eventually she just has she just has to leave you know she gets to the point where she says I can't do this anymore so like I say he's really down on his luck and he, he loses all of his money basically you know because he's spent so much on trying to find a treatment some sort of cure some sort of surgery that he can undergo so his last gasp he remembers that a patient, there was a patient um, who was paralysed, uh, a real, really serious spinal cord injury. And uh, Strange himself, when he uh, 
with looking at the file back uh, back then he said this guy's untreatable there's nothing we can do for him apparently this guy disappeared for a couple of years resurfaced and he could walk like i say he was he was back to normal you know he'd repaired himself he'd found like some sort of miracle cure some sort of miracle treatment so dr strange tracks this guy down actually turns out to be uh, benjamin bratt it was nice to see him in the movie um yeah benjamin bratt's character was this guy who found this miracle treatment so dr strange says to him you know what the hell happened what did you do um and he said, you know, because look, my hand, look, look at the state of me, you know, I need, I need your help. You have to point me in the right direction, you know. So Benjamin Bratt says, well, I went to India and um, I found this uh, group, uh, this healer. Um, and what she was able, what she was able to do was absolutely fantastic, you know, Um and he, so he tells him where he needs to go, who he needs to look for. So uh, Doctor Strange goes out to India, finds the place, you know, find, uh, meets up with Chiwetel Ejiofar's character, and then is introduced to Tilt Swinton, who is play, who of course plays the Ancient One in this movie. Um, and he suddenly realizes, no, no, this is not what he thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> because I, uh, because when I like I say he's suddenly holy Christ there's magic involved in real magic because of course Strange is a man of science so it uh, it takes a bit of time in this movie for him to actually come to terms you know um, it's only when Tilda Swinton starts showing him all these different visions you know the reality you th you know is one of many. Um, and we get that line from She Would Tell Edgy for you, which you hear in the trailer, you know, my advice to you, forget everything you think you know. So Strange suddenly realises, okay, so the, that's what the secret was. You know, uh, Benjamin Bratt's character, it was magic. Really, it's magic. Uh, so Benedict Cumberbatch started... Uh, decides he's going to stay with them and he's going to train with them and learn and you know in exchange and hopefully he'll be healed now that's all good and well so he starts studying the art and he starts practicing and he you know he's it's one of those that he has trouble getting into it but then he finally gets it and of course like I say, because he's a, he's a magnificent intellect. So after when he finally gets it for the first time, then he starts studying intensely and he picks it up. Like he comes on leaps and bounds, which it does kind of... I mean, sometimes you get that in a film where a character decides, right, I'm going to study the art of something and they pick it up. Like, you know, they, how the hell did he learn it that quickly? You know what I'm saying? Whereas the type of character Stephen Strange is because he established that he's a magnificent intellect to begin with. So you buy the fact that he can start to learn all this stuff so quickly. And they, but they even comment, like Chiwetel Ejiofor and um, Tilda Swinton even comment on it. You know, I've never seen someone pick these, you know, learn this so quickly and to develop and improve so quickly. So that's going on. So you've got that. But then, of course, things go south when Mads Mikkelsen's character shows up. Now, the way Mads Mikkelsen figures into this whole thing. I mean, you see bits of it in the trailer, you know. Um, he is a former pupil of Tilda Swinton's. Um, so a former, former pupil of the Ancient One. Um... You know, and like I say, he, you know, he's risen through the ranks. You know, he's a real high sort. He's become a real high, powerful sorcerer in his, in his own right. And what he's done is, um, he's kind of, so he got to this high rank and he became so powerful. And then he turned on Tilda Swinton because, uh, 
you guys do, you know, you guys who are familiar with the source material know a lot more about this than I will. But there are um, certain practices, certain spells that are uh, forbidden, um, and certain books which contain these forbidden practices. Uh, Mads Mikkelsen got his hands on one of these books and he um, took some pages from them. Uh, and basically his plan in this whole thing is, uh, he, it's kind of like, he's one of those guys that he, th it's one of those scenarios, you know, where he thinks he's doing good, you know, he thinks he's right, but really when you look at it from the outsider's perspective, no, it's a horrible plan, he's doing something very evil. Um, but obviously Mads Mikkelsen is blind to that because he thinks he's doing something good, because his goal is he's going to use uh, this certain uh, spell, this certain uh, ritual that he's taken from this book um, and it's an act, it'll be able to connect like a way to access what they call the dark realm and his plan is to save the earth because he you know he appreciates that one day this earth's going to burn itself out you know one day humanity will die um so basically his idea is you know i'm going to save the earth you know because if we can get if we can access the dark realm and um oh, i'm sorry i can't remember like the uh, the the name of the particular god if you like who resides in the dark realm uh, but if we can become one with him and you know unite the realms like our realm and that realm you know we could gain immortality our world would be able to last and go on forever we'd all be able to live forever you know death we'd finally be able to conquer death so that's what his goal is and that's what he thinks he'll be able to do you know um you know form an alliance you know save the earth and all living things uh, and we'll be able to prosper now so that's his thinking however like i say dr strange and tilda swinton and she tell edgifar they say no accessing the dark realm is not a good idea that'll end horribly yeah no this is too big a risk it's a horrible idea you know if 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 you try to take us into the dark realm you'll destroy us all it'll be doom for all mankind so that's the story to this so you've got this guy who wants to do this thing and then so benedict cumberbatch dr strange tilda swinton and she tell edgefar they have to stop mads mickelson and his group of followers from doing this um and one of the things that uh, Mads Mikkelsen's character needs to do, like, there's uh, three sanctums across the world. There's one in Hong Kong, there's one in London, and one in New York. And they basically protect um, the Earth from, like, you know, dark forces. So Mads Mikkelsen, he's, his plan is to go to these three sanctums and destroy each of them. And then he'll be able to perform this ritual. So strange and uh strange and uh baron mordo baron mordo yeah that's chiotel edgifar's character uh and the ancient one they have to stop uh mads mickelson before he can do this so that's basically the plot so, yeah it's you know it is like it's you save the world it's you at the heart of it is the basic save the world plot but they're giving it to us in a way we've never seen before you know you know what I mean? So at the heart, you've got a really basic goal that the heroes are working towards. Save the world, you know. It's it's a tried and tested plot. You can't go wrong with it. But the way they've approached it in this, you know, they've been able to give us something fresh and something really, really kind of groundbreaking. Um, because of, there's like a real depth to it, you know, because like, you've, as you see in the trailers, like, you get into like, 
you're crossing dimensions. You know, dimensions that we've never seen before. And like the um like they have thing a thing called the mirror realm, you know, where you might be in reality but then if you cross over into the mirror realm it's exactly the same as what you see in reality. But like so it's like a, a realm within a realm. Like they even say like, you know, you can ha like you can uh, isolate enemies in there so they'll do no harm to the out to the to the real world. Um you know, you can imprison them in there. Um, so, you've got Strange and Mordor fighting Mads Mikkelsen and his followers. And the crossing dimensions, you know, the crossing from the real world into the mirror world. And it's just, it's really spectacular. And as you see in the uh, trailers, you know, there's some very, like, Inception-style imagery. You know, and, like you know stacking like uh buildings on top of or inverting buildings you know like folding the, the earth on you know so it stacks on top of one another and you know like just it's really i think this is one of the things because it's absolutely spectacular this is as with all marvel films something you need to see on the big screen but they've give us something here that's absolutely fantastic i mean like inception when that came out 2010 was that in 2010 or 2011 inception came out and of course that was pretty groundbreaking so fast forward five or six years you know th this is like on another level you know, so like like if Inception was the prototype, now you've got this, and yeah, it's oh uh, the action sequences in this because like I say, it's magic and martial art. It's fantastic, you know. Um, yeah, it's it it's abs it's visually impressive, but like I say, it got a great story and. You know, really like great characters to go alongside it. You know, so it's not a case of style over substance. No, no, it's got plenty of substance to go with it, but it's got a hell of a lot of style at the same time. But yeah, fantastic! Uh, all these different sequences of like, you know, bending the earth and you know, like destroying buildings and you know. Uh, changing that uh, dimensions of buildings um and one thing mads mickelson's character is able to do repeatedly is like uh change like tilt the uh tilt the earth you know so or tilt the building so if you're going to like he might be on one end of the corridor strangers on the other and it's strange you might be running directly towards him and then Mads Mikkelsen just twists the room so uh, and sends uh, strange flying it's like I say it's very very impressive yeah uh, you can see that the thought and the time and effort that's gone into designing this and planning it all um yeah it's, it's visually impressive but you know it's got a really good story to go with it and great performances like i say benedict cumberbatch is i tell you what he is stephen strange it's fancy you know like and going back and like i say i google image the original uh character you know you see him in the original comic he looks exactly like him very very impressive um yeah and like you say, uh, Chiwetel Ejiofar, really good. Tilda Swinton's fantastic as the ancient one in this. Um, and like you say, Mads Mikkelsen, I tell you what, y you know, he's one of those guys, you know, if you need a really strong villain, he's one of the go-to guys now, because he's, he's really good in this. Yeah, really good. And, y you know, um, you feel that threat. Like, you see, you know, when you see him, you say, yeah, this guy's dangerous. You know, this guy's dangerous. You don't mess with this guy. Um, yeah, but it's really, really good. 
and there's some really great humorous moments in this i've got to say man um the cloak of levitation oh my god i love this thing i mean you know there's that discussion of um that some people have had you know like what would you rather have would you like to, would you rather have like uh um thor's hammer is it milnew or uh, i'm sorry i'm butchering the pronunciation you know would you like that or would you have captain america's shield you know no no for me i think it's the cloak of levitation that it's fantastic the way they do that in this film um and like I say, there's some really fun moments with that cloak. Uh, and when, and when uh, Strange, like, wears it for the first time and interacts with it. Because they did a really good uh, job of, like, giving the cloak of levitation, you know, a personality and making it really a character of its own. Yeah, the cloak of levitation is a highlight of this film. Um... Yeah, it's really, really cool. Uh, like I say, some great humorous moments. Uh, and like I say, just a really good story you can get into. You know, um, like I say, they have that uh, romantic dimension with Benedict Cumberbatch and uh, Rachel McAdams, which is, is nice. Um, but yeah, like, it's, 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 it's a lot of fun. And, you know, it's really really brave on marvel's part you know to, because this is very different from what we've seen before you know well we've never seen magic inside the mcu before and like crossing all these different dimensions you know the bit when uh at the end you know when uh mads mickelson's trying to perform this ritual you know and uh open the earth, open our world up to the uh, to the dark dimension the way they go about um portraying the dark dimensions pretty spectacular you know uh but yeah they do it so well and like i say you know because they've tried different things in a lot of these different marvel movies of course they always say like captain america the winter soldier is like a 70s political thriller ant-man heist movie this one is, is something different again you know um but it's yeah it's really really well done um and you know it's been getting good reviews so far but you know from uh really really near perfect ratings by a lot of people like uh, the guys at collider they loved it you know and i agree i really really loved this uh, definitely will be getting it on blu-ray when it comes out um but yeah I, I, like i said i might even have to see this again in the theater at some point because this was this this was fantastic you know magic and martial arts it's fantastic like i said and that's one thing i'll say they did a good way of getting things underway because they had a really really great opening sequence that gave you a really solid taste of what you were in for you know to get you into the world and seeing okay this is what these guys are all about okay you know but yeah it was really really well done and one thing i will say this sets up for a sequel really well something happens during the film um and you see you see yeah seeds are planted for a sequel to this and it even ends at the end the last thing it says doctor strange will return so but yeah make sure you stay for the post credit sequences of course there are two um yeah the last of the um post credit sequences that's the one that sets up for the sequel now tell you what it, i don't want to give anything away but the last uh, post credit sequence it's quite chilling actually like there's a mo there's like the way it ends it leaves you feeling like, oh my god you know like i think doctor this doctor strange 2 for lack of you know let's call it that the, the sequel i think that could get quite dark yeah the way this one ends like that the way that post credit sequence ends you're like oh god this is this could get dark but yeah this was a fantastic way to introduce the character and introduce this whole new world 
uh, this whole new dimension of the MCU. But yeah, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic film. Fantastic performances by everyone involved. It's just a really, really great effort. So I highly recommend this movie. This movie was a treat. Um, was every bit as good as I was hoping it was going to be. Yeah, uh, I think this will definitely be in my top 10. Probably will even be in my top 5 of the year. But yeah, absolutely spectacular. So I highly recommend this. So that brings my review to a close. Absolutely I recommend this. So if you're debating whether to go see it, absolutely man. All the way. Uh, and if you decide to go see it, of course, hope you enjoy it. If you've seen it already, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you agree with some of the points that I've made. But yeah, thanks for sticking with me guys. Uh, hope this review has been helpful to you. And enjoy the movie. You know, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.